It's a team effort and it's made by children and not adults and it's way more better than other games. My name is Nusi and I'm working with the first gen kids from Lengkok Baru to design games to tell their stories. Today's schedule is on the whiteboard. We did a lot of exercises to get them to share interesting things about themselves, like from the very simple things of what they like, what they do every day. I like this project because it's based on my hobby, taking care of fish. To people things like labels that they identify with, for example, like how much do they like their life, whether they have role models in their life, and what they feel about living in this neighbourhood also. So for the entire game design process, we started with research. We played a lot of games and we were doing a lot of game reviews so that they can understand what makes a good game and how to improve existing games. I have been playing games and having fun with my friends. So from there, the children learn how to be more critical about the games they play, like what makes a game more fun. We found out that they like a lot of role-playing, bluffing games that they can sabotage other players. <laughs> they were like taught how to think in someone else's shoes and criticise and think back and reflect a lot and change their positions and ask themselves, why am I doing something? Why am I making this decision as a designer? You get to make good games. You get to cooperate with friends, do a lot of things with friends. Have fun, have a lot of fun. I'm also glad that I'm able to uh, make something which I never thought I'll do in my life. You all have to lose a customer that you all already have. Oh, no. Pull back a customer. Every week, like, we change their ideas very quickly. We help them let go of certain things. And we help them be critical of the work and not of the person. So I hope that process is something that they'll take with themselves after this. I've learned about players' perspective, how to make the game more fun, and to make my ideas into a game. I hope for the public not to take everything very directly. The kids and I put a lot of thought into what goes into a card and why. So when you read the backstories, you'll understand why it was done a certain way. So I hope the public will appreciate the, the backstories to the games. Why should people support this game? Because our proceeds from the game is actually to superhero me, which actually helps other kids. They will be able to learn how to do various things that will not be taught in their schools. I hope people will support our game because of how I tried to design the game as good as possible and try to make it easier. I think at the end of the day, how we managed to turn what seemed like very trivial stories into game concepts and then eventually games to be played, I think that's quite a powerful process. It's art because it acknowledges their voice. I think Superhero Me made their friendship really special. I think it's a very special process that they did together, like the graduation project when they were in K2 and then now they're in primary 6, um, them coming back together again and then there's actual prototypes and products that they've made together. So I think it's really cool. Please support my game. Please support my game. Please support our game. Please support the game. Please support our game. Please support, game. Please support us. Bye-bye. <laughs>